Hi, I'm Valerie with Ambient Glow Candles and the Facebook group Candle Making for Beginners. Today, we're going to talk about how to make a pillar candle. You can see some of my creations behind me here. And also, I would like to introduce you to the motivational speaker, Marcus the Writer. His new book, Billion Dollar Mindset. You can get this book on Amazon or on the website, Entrepreneurial Ways. The wax is heating, and while the wax is heating, we will prepare the molds. You will thread the mold, the wick into the mold. And then you would use Play-Doh or any kind of putty from the hardware store to seal this hole that the wick went through. You want to get a really nice seal around the edges of this container. And you want to make sure you protect your surfaces. So I use a paper plate, but you can use wax paper, newspaper, anything to protect your surfaces because even when you're careful, it leaks just a little bit sometimes. Then you take masking tape. and tape over that a little better. Seal that off. If you pour your wax at 174, you'll have a glossy pillar candle. If you pour it at about 159, your pillar candle will be frosty or what they call rustic. Also, the temperature of your home matters. To make a glossy candle, I turn my heat up to like 73. Okay, we'll take the temp of the wax. It is exactly where it needs to be at 174. I am going to put the picture on here and tear it out. Put it on the unit ounces. Add my fragrance. And also you can add dye if you would like. I'm making this one green. I'm adding three dots. Then you stir really well. Because the wax and the fragrance oil need to bind. You need to stir it a couple minutes to make sure it really binds to the wax. You don't want the oil to drip off the candle later. You want a really good bind. Another question I get is people want to know, they go, well, I made it really dark, but it was light when I finished. Well, what you need to do is get a paper towel and drip a couple dots. You see how dark it looks in the picture, but when it cools off, it's going to be the color that it looks on your paper towel. So if you want it darker, just add more fragrance. I mean, more dye. Okay, now we're gonna pull this over and pour. 
you pour slowly to try to prevent some of the air bubbles. I only pour this halfway because I like smaller candles. I like some of them to be the full three inches and some only two and a half inches. And you want to leave wax inside of your picture for the second pour. So you're gonna save some of the wax. You'll take your wick holders Fasten your wick. Don't pull it too tight so you won't undo the seal that you made at the bottom. We are going to wait two hours because after one hour, there will be a film forming on top. After two hours, we'll take a skewer and make air hole, air relief holes to relieve the air bubbles. Okay, I'll see you back in two hours. Okay, we're back. It's been two hours and we're going to make relief holes in the pillar candle. The wax is heating. We're gonna get a skewer and poke holes right around the wick. This will relieve any air bubbles that may have trapped inside. If you don't do this step, your pillow candle will be have air bubbles in it and it will not be even. It'll be hard to sit down, sit upright. You would have to get a heat gun and smooth it out, but it wouldn't work as well as poking relief holes. You want the candle to look smooth at the bottom when you finish. It shouldn't be a big air hole. The second pour, the wax doesn't have to be as hot as the first pour. You melt it, pour slowly over the holes that you made, the relief holes. And you make it up to the original rim that you poured the first one. Again, these candles are only two and a half inch because you can fill the mold all the way to the top. That is the second pour and we will come back in about two more hours and it should be set and ready to come out. The You will see the edges starting to pull away from the sides and that's how you'll know when it is set, you will see it pulling away. And then we will unmold the candle and see the final results. See you back in an hour. It has been two hours since we report, did the second report. So now we are going to remove the pillar candle. So from the beginning till now, it took about five hours to make this candle. When it's set, you'll know it'll slide right out. Beautiful. Beautiful, glossy. We'll cut the wick off the back. Remove the other one. You see how it leaks some? That's why we put it on a dish or a plate. Wax paper. When you make your first pillow candle, you should look at a wick guide. Lone Star Candle Company has wick guides. And it recommended an LX wick and also the zinc core. I prefer zinc core because it has a smaller, nicer flame. But here we go, two beautiful candles. These are the glossy 
Again, I poured it at a temp of 174 to make it a rustic, frosted look. You would pour it at a temp of 159. When you test your candles after you cut this down and test it, the pillar should not burn more than a fourth of an inch. This is burnt now over 25 hours. And you see how it just steady goes down. It's flat at the bottom. And it does not require a dish. If you test your wick and the whole candle melts or it goes to the side, you either have the wrong wax or the wrong wick. This particular pillar wax is 4625. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can ask me on the candle making group. Candle making for beginners. And if you like this video, like um, hit the like button and subscribe to see more videos. Thank you.